if you don't have a traditional job, it has been very hard to apply for unemployment benefits. Many who are self-employed or working in the growing gig freelance economy have been especially hard hit by the coronavirus business shutdown. But today, that changed a bit. Christina Rex with the story. I spoke to a hairdresser here in Andover who says the ability to now collect unemployment could save both her job and her business. Last day I worked was March 14th. Since then, it's been empty salon chairs and no customers at Beauty Solutions in Andover. If I can't pay rent, you know, I've been here 24 years. It would be sad for me to lose it just for that. Sharon Jackson Bailey doesn't qualify for traditional unemployment benefits since she's her own boss. And that's made it hard to pay the bills at her boutique salon. You can't make money when you're not in the business. Until now, as of Monday in Massachusetts, contractors, freelancers, gig workers, and the self employed like Sharon can apply for pandemic unemployment assistance, a product of the Federal CARES Act. I think the feds did the right thing here. We supported it, and then people worked like crazy to actually put the framework in place to implement it. It looks pretty simple. Sharon was on her phone looking at the application as soon as she got a text from another hairdresser with the news. And I was so excited. I was like, are you kidding? This is like incredible. The shelves are stocked, but the doors are closed, and she's been getting by on the generosity of her customers and family. Honestly, my husband's been, he's a police officer, and he's working overtime for me, and he paid for my rent this month. Now she hopes if approved for the new unemployment benefits, she'll get by until the closed sign is turned back around. I think I'm going to be slammed, and I'm very grateful. Sharon plans to apply for pandemic unemployment assistance first thing Tuesday and tells us she's excited to learn that the payments, if approved, could be retroactive to the day she stopped working. In Andover, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you. Tonight